I choose guests one way I want to talk to them. What are their fears, hopes, dreams? What do they want to do next? Questions that I would otherwise not have any opportunity to ask them. It's also something that is not about money. It's not about commerce. It's just about design and truth and beauty. And I love that. I didn't know Elliot before we did the show. I reached out to him, it was a blind email. Hi, I do this show, would you be interested in being on it? And fortunately for me, he said yes. Elliot represents, in my mind, the designer of the future, in that he's not limited to one mode of communication. He's a designer, he's a typographer, he's a filmmaker, he's a musician, he's a performance artist, He's amazing. You know, I'm very, very excited about so many different things, and I see a kind of macro procedure that that re, that rides over the top of all of these different disciplines. I'm a, I am a graphic designer. I love graphic design. I'm firmly committed to that, even though a lot of my work uh, blurs a lot of these boundaries. I always wanted to be a, an artist, and I do consider graphic design an art form. This idea of experimentation and experimental film, experimental graphics, and the spirit behind that kind of work is important to me because the kind of commercial work that I was dealing with seemed as if it didn't engender the kind of idealism of form and content that I could find in a more unencumbered way of working. So I just, I couldn't bring myself to throw type up in the upper left hand corner and, and, um, and spray paint hair on people's heads and, <laughs> you know, it was, it was, I had an attitude problem, I guess. What would you say was the turning point for you? When did you feel that things started to change? It's, it's weird because in a way, like my whole life was attempting to kind of live this kind of existence, this kind of idea of the idealized graphic designer that was not something that was like innate or was not natural to me. And at the moment where I actually stopped doing that and the things that really excited me, the things that I was really interested in utilizing graphic design in a way that I truly believed, it was as if my career instantly took off. I, d I did these two projects, one is Throwing Apples at the Sun and the other one is I Slingshot Lines and they were the kind of uh, vehicles that started my career in a kind of critical way. The typography actually is what lies at the core of the work itself. I begin with that. So this is right when I made that decision to try to do performance-based work, so I would be like, the lights would be low, and I would be like, these three toothless and useless monsters sit furry and spent at my table. Slack-jawed beasts gape at me. They ape at me. And still I show no fear. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an absolutely wonderful entertainment. A lot of what Catfish was about was this, this, this notion of the substitution of um, referential density for narrative coherence. So this idea that it was about motion graphics and the, the narrative itself had dissolved. Where do you get all of this information and what inspires yeah. you to include all of it in this way in your pieces? I think I have five or six major projects going in my studio currently and it's just the way that I'm constructed. So I'll, I just don't put a cap on it the kind of multifaceted nature of my work has been a hindrance to its acceptance because you know there's this kind of desire within contemporary society to categorize things. There are these kind of culturally prescribed frames that people are forced to fit into, you know? They're forced to fit into and my entire war body of work as well as my message as an educator and my role as a mentor at Cranbrook is to say forget all of that because you can create a life from this skill set that has merit, that is rewarding, 
when it feels right, that's the direction that you just simply, at all costs, navigate towards. I believe in this stuff. I mean, I believe in the power of graphic design, and I believe in the power of artwork. I'm not one of, I'm not cynical, uh, and I'm not jaded. I'm an instrumentalist, which is that work can be an agent of positive social change. I'm looking for meaning, and I actually believe that work is a vehicle for that. You can cry in a film. You know, when you, when you, when, I, I, I've cried to pieces of music. I've cried in front of a poster. Like, I believe in this stuff, man. I mean, I believe in it. I can feel it. That's all I can say. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. This is some high-quality, sexually titillating, intellectually stimulating, gut-wrenchingly beautiful work. I mean, have you seen work of this quality? Well, Elliot, one of the quotes that you have in Catfish, the very beginning, uh, great mass of men are asleep who will wake them from their slumber, yeah. but the artist. Yeah. And I, I want to thank you for okay. keeping us wide awake. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.